all you wanted to do was browse the internet, watch some YouTube videos, go on Facebook, shut it off for the night. But then viruses happened. going on back here with another video so I had a client bring me a laptop that had some issues with it and generally we kind of know what it was going to be basically viruses and malware and all that nasty stuff that happens so it was a laptop it was a I don't exactly remember the model number of it it was the Intel it was a Core i3 processor inside of it it was a Toshiba satellite P55 dash numbers so I opened up the laptop, I turned it on, and okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now that this is obviously not normal for a laptop to take this long to load up with Windows 7. Oh, y'all saw that? It just blue screen. Holy crap. So let's try it one more time and see what happens. Holy crap. It just PSOD again. It didn't load up. It was just a black screen, and I was like, what's going on? Viruses. Who made it send a blue screen and reboot it? And it did it again. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. Viruses. What I then decided to do was to take the hard drive out from the laptop, plug it into my PC to do a scan. Yes, you don't want to really do that because you can get viruses on your computer. You're putting a risk of liability to yourself and that happening also to you. You don't want to do that. But I was like, I don't know. It's only, it only had 162 gigabyte of data and basically it was a 5400 RPM hard drive. It's a 640 gigabyte hard drive. So I'm like, it shouldn't take too long to re-scan really it. And I felt superior in terms of my computer over there being able to take away everything and any, any kind of infection that would happen, I'll be able to just get rid of it. So I decided to go ahead and do the scan. I started that night around 6. It was like early in the morning and I was like, okay, time to go to bed. You know, this should have been finished. I used Melbourne Bites to do a scan and it should be finished by now. I was seven hours in and it wasn't even, it wasn't done. It was just a continuous scanning for viruses and I'm like, are you kidding me? Seven hours for 162 gigabytes of data. So I know something was up because it normally shouldn't take that long for a hard drive to be scanned, especially with only 162 gigabytes of data. I knew something was up. And especially since it was connected to my computer, so there was no bottleneck on the CPU or anything like that. So it should totally just do it fast and get it done and we could stuff. Either way, I, I stopped the scan because I, I it was taking too long and there could be other things in there that generally Malwarebytes wouldn't see and they don't have to use another program and that could really take forever So I decided to just do a clean install either way before doing that after the scan finished I detected around 60 infections a few malwares um, And after that I rebooted the computer I took out the hard drive not my computer But I took out I basically just okay. I didn't reboot it. I basically okay. I turned the, I turned my computer off I unplugged the hard drive from my computer plugged it in back to the laptop Turn the laptop back on and it basically started up. So I still decided to do a clean install anyway. So I decided to just download Windows 7 uh, Home Premium and uh, legitimately, okay, eject, uh, and basically just do a fresh install. So before doing that, before actually even doing a clean install of Windows, I decided to just do a check on the disk, make sure it has no bad sectors. I did a scan, and well, would you know, it found a bad sector, and I was like, damn. This means I'm really gonna have to really erase everything to fix that bad sector. Cause the bad sector is just, I've, I've had bad sectors already. Even as of recent, a few months ago, I've had a bad sector on my two terabyte black drive where I was trying to copy something from the desktop somewhere else and nothing was happening. It was just taking weeks. Stop. I had to copy everything from that drive over to another drive, then erase the drive and just basically write zeros to it with a low level format. It takes time cause it's a slow, it just erases everything and of stuff will happen. Basically, it destroys all the data uh, and basically have the drive see that bad sector and really not use it anymore or be able to actually just replace that sector with a spare sector. And after doing that, everything was fixed, everything was fine for my drive. And I did the same thing for the laptop's hard drive 
and that actually turned out to be the same thing. So I did a low level scan, everything got fixed and uh, everything was green. It replaced that back damage sector with a spare one and uh, everything was pretty much good to go. So I decided to just buy and install Windows 7 Home Premium onto it. Windows 7 is what the laptop came with. I give it back. Windows 7 Home Premium. Not the Toshiba operating system because, well, Toshiba, because, because Toshiba makes their own operating system. But basically with Toshiba, they'll incorporate other kind of uh, applications and stuff into their OS, you know, sponsors and stuff like that. All kinds of unwanted software that you might not even use. You more than likely won't even use it. So clean install, none of that junk is gonna, gonna get installed and it's not gonna slow the PC down with extra processes. So that's a good thing. That's another good thing to point out. So I did that, reinstalled it. Everything was pretty much good to go. And uh, yeah, it was great. So I got that fixed. How, how many minutes we in? Because I normally go over 10 minutes on these things. Pretty much that was basically it. Give her the laptop back. It was working just fine. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much. So my name is Fabian, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.